let's talk about how to use the color pick eyedropper extension. So I'm working on a portrait of myself using Google Draw. And you can see that right now I've got all of my outlines of all of the shapes, the highlights, the shadows, everything I want to see. And I am ready to start filling stuff in. So what you need to do is first you have to have the extension that lets you pick colors from out of a photo. That is called the Color Pick Eyedropper extension. Um, you'll need to add that to Chrome first. Once you have that added to Chrome, it looks like an extension right up here, little crosshairs with a rainbow behind it. So you need to be on your project and you will want to fill in smallest to largest. Um, if you fill in a large shape, it's gonna cover up your other shapes and that's not good. So what I want to do is I'm gonna start with maybe the eyeball right there. So I'm gonna click on that shape and now I'm gonna go to the color pick eyedropper extension. I clicked on it once. And now when I drag it over my page, the center of the crosshairs up here in the corner, that very center is showing what color I've selected. So for the middle of my eye, it's probably that nice dark color. So I click once and it gives me a code. That color code I want to copy, control C, then I can close it. And now as long as I'm selected on the shape that I wanna fill, I go to my paint bucket and I click custom and it gives you a spot where you can paste control V, the code for your color. And when you say, okay, it's filled in. I'm going to click off for just a second. So you can see how that's filled in. And then basically you just repeat those steps for every shape that you have. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on the eyes. And I honestly find that I get the best results by using this method for every single shape separately. And you might be thinking that takes a long time. And the answer is it does take a while, but I think that it's worth it. Um, so basically just repeat those steps, um, smallest to largest filling in. Um, so now I can do the background of the eye, click on it, filling in, copy, custom, paste. Okay. Now, if I think that it starts to look not quite right, I can always click on this. I can go into my paint bucket on my shape and I can adjust the lightness or the darkness or the opacity later on, but I usually start by just filling them all in. Just wait, see how it looks, be a little bit patient and um, usually turns out pretty cool.